Revolutionize your software delivery process with the power of platform engineering. But isn't it just another fancy name for DevOps? I look at how platform engineering could mean saying goodbye to complexity and uncertainty and saying hello to improved developer productivity and streamlined workflows. I'm Russell Smith, Editorial Director of Petri.com and today we're going to be looking at a, a term that I came across recently called platform engineering. So I thought it'd be interesting in this video to understand what it is, who it's for, how it might help your organization and how it differs from DevOps. So yeah, I know platform engineering as if we don't have enough acronyms and terminology. We've got SecOps, DevOps, IT Ops, GitOps, you name it, and now another term to, to understand what it actually means. So what is platform engineering? So the idea is to improve productivity for developers and at the same time reducing complexity and the uncertainty involved in software delivery. So if you're lucky enough to have a platform team, that team automates all of the infrastructure management that provides a centralized platform of tools and workflows that developers can essentially just take and use and self-serve. So how does that compare to what we have with DevOps? So if DevOps is about developers and operational people working together to produce a streamlined set of tools for infrastructure management, streamlined deployment and monitoring, basically platform engineering takes all of that, wraps it up in a package that can be presented to developers that they can use whenever they want without having to involve the infrastructure team directly necessarily. So you're providing a set of reusable services that can be just taken off the shelf in a package and used. So much like any other internal product in an organization, the platform engineering team will essentially build those tools, package them up as reusable services, monitor them, and then make sure that they uh, conform to some kind of service level agreement for the developers in the organization so that they can rely on it as a stable platform for pushing out and deploying their applications. So I keep talking about this platform. So this platform that the engineering team would develop would be called the Internal Developer Platform or the IDP, if you like, another acronym for you to remember. So the platform team would treat their IDP as their product. And the same team, of course, would track the reliability and the service of the product to make sure that it meets the organization's development patterns and, of course, the business goals. So who is platform engineering for? So this is suited for large organizations that have distributed applications that need to be deployed at scale. So if you already have a mature application, you have a clear vision about where it's going and you are scaling it or that you are gonna need to scale it, then this is a sign that you might benefit from an internal developer platform. Of course, if you've just got one monolithic application and a small team of developers, then an IDP may be just a little bit overkill for you. And I can tie this back a little bit to what Brett Arsenault was saying last week when I was talking about the Uncovering Hidden Risks podcast and how you manage data protection at scale. You know, he said that as you, you know, scale your efforts across very large data sets, you basically need to be able to automate certain aspects of that. Otherwise, it just simply isn't scalable. And really, you've got the same situation here. If you've got an application that needs to scale, but you see you don't have those repeatable processes, then you could potentially benefit from platform engineering and that development platform. So is platform engineering different from DevOps? Well, no, not really. Platform engineering, I would say, is an advanced state of DevOps. When you reach that stage where your processes need to scale and you've got a large team, a distributed application, then platform engineering is really that advanced stage where everything comes together, you're able to automate it, get repeatable processes and services available to your developers that they can just take off the shelf and use to deploy their applications with confidence that everything is going to work and that it's going to work at scale. So if you're working in DevOps uh, in a large organization or even in a small organization, let me know in the comments below if you have any experience with platform engineering and how that's worked out for you. I'd be really interested to know. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like. If you'd like to see more, of course, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to leave you with another video that you might find interesting on the screen right now. So do check that out. But that's it from me and I'll see you next time.